All right, what is happening, you guys? It is Garrett Fankhauser with FFLFunnels.com. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is how to optimize your website's navigation to maximize your sales, right? So I'm going to actually walk you through um, you know, some of the things that we do. Particularly in this video, we're going to be focusing on the search engine and the actual menu navigation itself, as well as talking about some filters and things like that that can really help out, right? The goal with all of this is to show you guys um, the best way to kind of optimize your site to help people find what they're looking for. When we talk about search engines and things like that, like Google, for example, the goal is for somebody's typing in something that they want to find, right? They're asking a question or they're looking for something, the goal is to help those people find what they're looking for on your website in the most efficient way possible and to make it super easy for them to purchase that item if that's what they're actually looking to do. Before we get started, I see there's one person in here. If you are watching live, go ahead and comment live in the chat. Uh, if you're watching the replay of this, that's awesome too. Go ahead and type replay in. That just helps uh, bump up the algorithm a little bit you know, get more people to see this and things like that. So it's, that's really my only ask. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here in a second when I can get everything where I need it to be. And we'll go ahead and scan through this stuff. All right. Let me get my uh, Zoom stuff out of the way. Cool. So here's basically what we're going to kind of cover today uh, from a 10,000 foot view, right? So we're talking search results over here. So this is like somebody hops online, whether it's their phone, whether it is their laptop or whatever, and they search for something, right? They type in Glock G44, right? They're looking for the 22 long rifle Glock. Um, and the results will either do one of two things. They'll either take them to the specific product page, which is usually always the best. That is the um, the result of having really good SEO, right? That actual product page that you have ranks for the keywords that the person searched for. So ideally, like from the search results page, they go exactly where they need to be. Second case scenario, it's not worst case scenario, but second case scenario is they have to go through either the home page or some type of intermediate page to actually get to that product page. So what we're going to talk about today is how to optimize that home page or intermediate page so that people can actually find what they're looking for um, with, you know, without having to go through a bunch of hurdles and things like that and without having them actually just leave your website and go somewhere else because, you know, somewhere else might be easier or whatever. So uh, let me move my Zoom stuff around over here. I'm going to actually bring up a client website that we have. This is Apex Armory. Uh, so what we're going to talk about is when they hit homepage, right, we want to give them many options to find what they're looking for, right? So over here, we have a few different options. We have the search, right? So search is going to be one of the absolute most important functions on your website. And I know that when I talk to many of you guys, one of the primary issues that you're struggling with is if you're using like Celerant, CDS, Amoretti, Gearfire, Core, whatever, uh, they don't have very good search functions. And so that's something that uh, we didn't used to have very good search functions either. We spent a lot of time and energy to really optimize this, to make sure that our clients get the best results from their websites. And one of those being is having a fucking kick-ass search engine, right? Like it makes all the difference in the world. So product that we're looking for is the Glock 44, G44, right? So we're going to type in G. And it, you'll notice that as soon as we hit two letters, it's going to start populating things, right? It's going to start populating things like Glock parts, uh, Glock frames, Glock grips. It's going to start showing some products here, right? As we get down and we get more into it, we can start seeing it's going to populate other things, right? That are going to be more relevant. So it depends on what people type in here, right? If they type in Glock 22 LR, Boom, finds it right there, right? Because it's it's sourcing Glock and 22LR and it's filtering out any of the other BS, right? It's not showing you a bunch of irrelevant results right here that don't have anything to do with that. It is showing some tactical solutions, 22 uh, conversions, right? Because it's Glock and it's a 22, right? But it's just a conversion, right? So we can also do G44 here. Boom, finds it right here. 
right? It's also going to show like the threaded barrels and some of the other parts. And then there's going to be, uh, if you look, some of these part numbers are going to have G44 in here, right? G44. So there's no way to like take that out. But what we're focused on right here is that it's finding exactly what we're looking for. And we can click directly into it with three, uh, you know, three uh, numerals or, or th whatever, right? Three keystrokes. Um, so there we go. We get right to it, right? We can actually come in here, view all the information about it. And we can actually make a purchase from here, right? The other thing that we can do is we can really optimize the uh, the menus here, right? So optimizing the menus here is going to be super helpful. And I'll show you how that can be done. Um, you know, basically kind of like what we've done here on this client site, for example. So people can go in and they can go into high level um categories like semi-auto pistols, but we also have like Glock right here, right? So if they're looking for a Glock, which we're going to use in this example again for the G44, they can click into Glock and it'll start loading all of the Glock stuff right here, right? Well, how are we going to find the G44? Well, the easiest way would probably just be to click calibers right here, 22. It's going to refilter everything and it's actually going to toss um, everything right in here, right? So there we go. It's just a couple extra clicks, but it's really super easy to find what people are looking for. And this is going to be one of the number one things that's going to increase your conversion rate, right? Conversion rate, meaning that the per a percentage of the people that go to your website buy something, right? So again, we're coming from here. Good SEO is going to bring them directly to the products page. But if not, if for whatever reason they're looking for something and they click like the link in your bio on Facebook or whatever it is, and they have to go through an intermediate page to find that specific product page, we want to make damn sure that it's super fucking easy for people to find what they're looking for and check out, right? They come in here, they grab the product, they take a look at the product, you know, get whatever information that they need, right? And then they go ahead and make a purchase from here. So the, the uh, another thing that I'm gonna show you just real quick is right here, having these breadcrumbs right here is super important. Uh, this is one good for SEO, but it's also too good to help people kind of navigate around and go to different areas, right? This also shows how that category is broken down all the way into, you know, from home, shop, guns and firearms, handguns, semi-auto handguns. It shows you how it's actually broken down in this sense, right? So one more example, right? So we can do SIG P365. We can start pulling up 365 stuff right there. We can also just do P3. And it's going to pull up some P30s, but it's also going to start pulling up 365s, right? It's going to uh, start guessing what we're looking for. Um, so that way we can help people complete their searches. It's like when you go to Google and you start typing something in and it auto predicts what you're, what you're trying to do. Um, same concept here, right? We want to make it super easy for people to find what they're, they're looking for. They can go to show all and we can see everything here, or they can actually just click into one of the individual things there, right? So if we go into show all, we'll be able to see everything and we can actually make any type of adjustments over here. If we're looking for a 380 or a nine mil or whatever it is, we can come over here and we can actually just set like a category. So we can say some auto handguns if we wanna get rid of the barrels and things like that that are showing up. And boom, we have everything right here, super easy to find via the menu, the search and using the filters, right? This sounds like a no brainer, right? The problem is, is that most of you guys that I talk to, and when I say most, I mean literally nine out of 10 people that I talk to have primarily the same two problems. One, not enough people know who you guys are. So you're not making as many sales as you want. And then two, your website's really fucking hard for people to navigate. They can't use it properly. And so they're having a really hard time finding what they're looking for and they're not buying stuff from you. So you have a traffic issue and you have a conversion rate issue. And those are two of the three primary things that we fix. When we work with clients, we set you guys up with a killer website. We set you up with some tools to help you get traffic, SEO and some other stuff. And then we we work on... Um, your conversion rate, right? We dial in a few things based on fixing your conversion rate to make you guys the most cash possible, right? So the reason that I wanted to show you guys this is if for whatever your website or whatever is, this is something that's super important. So if you've built your own website or you have your own system and you're able to fix this stuff without working with us, totally cool. 
this is where I would focus almost all of my energy. Many of you guys are focusing a lot of energy on like your meta tags and your descriptions and things like this for like SEO and things like that. Cool. But if people can't find what they're looking for, those people that you get to the website are not going to buy from you. And it's a fucking waste of time. Cool. Hope this is helpful, guys. I am out. Um, I have a lot of good stuff coming coming for you guys. If you guys are actually watching this this far in, um, we're going to be doing our SEO series again. We're going to get back and finish that up. Ben is actually available now to where we can finish that up. Um, we have some really, really strong stuff coming down the pipe for you guys that are actually working with us or thinking about working with us. So uh, really good stuff coming. Looking forward to helping you guys out. As always, if you need help with anything, if this is something that you feel like you might want to, you know, set something like this up for yourself or whatever, uh, comment in the video or just shoot me a DM. We'll start a convo. If I can help you out, we'll walk through what that might look like. Cool. Catch you guys later. Peace.